I'm Brian Van. I'm Max Van. And today we're going to do a little preseason Max Van number 48 Super Sport update. Well, dude, after six months of not riding a motorcycle, we finally got you out there. Yes, we did. Went to Barber Motorsports Park, rode with Sport Bike Track Time. It's a good time. Did, did a couple of days. How did it feel? It felt weird. Getting back out there. It felt weird. I don't know. It felt different because usually on the Ninja 400, I'm used to uh, overriding the bike. But now riding the bigger bike, it feels like it's overriding me. Um, Funny how quickly that changes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it took a little bit of time, but I got comfortable. I feel like the bike suits me. I'm a little bit bigger, so... 100%. Kind of worked, worked well. So we took both of his bikes. We took his GSSR 600. They're both Team Hammer prepared bikes. I take care of them. And his Moto America Next Gen Super Sport 750, which is on the table. Getting that one ready to take it to Little Tally with our friends at Precision Track Days this upcoming weekend. Max is going to do some riding and a little bit of coaching. Took both bikes. He, he rode both. We're trying to put as little time on the 750 as possible. Um, you went pretty good right out of the gate. I yeah. think, what did you do, like 32s on the 600 right yeah. out of the gate? Yeah, right out of the gate. Yeah, it, I mean, it was a good time. Which was which was okay. Which it was, was funny. Okay. You got passed a couple of times, and you came in, and you weren't in love with that. No, I was a little pissed off. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, it, it's part of it. You know, you're getting yeah. used to all new hardware, yeah. right? And it, it takes a minute to do yeah. that. Yeah, and also riding for the first time in half a year. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's a long time. That's yeah, a, yeah. A, a long break, but, you know, we live in Michigan. Um, can't really ride in the winter. Can't really ride in the winter. And, you know, I want to still snowmobile in the winter with mom and Sophia and yep. you, of course, and my brother and nephew. And uh, we just really can't ride no. in the wintertime. No, no, we were able to ride, though, in, in March in Alabama. We were able to ride in Alabama in March, and we're heading back down again. So it's back-to-back -back weekends for us, which is great. I do want to take a minute, too, and, and let's thank some of our partners that are yeah. sponsoring your race effort this year. Precision Track Days, Bahad Khan, appreciate all your support. Look forward to riding with you at the uh, event that we're heading to, Little Tally, this weekend. Tomorrow, we're leaving tomorrow morning. This video won't be out by then, but we'll be back by the time this we'll video is out. Two Wheel Dino Works, my man Nate over there, they do some amazing ECU flashing. Look those guys up. Spiegler brake lines. Yeah. If you want that immediate stopping feel, you get some speed with brake oh, lines. Oh, 100%. It's, our, it's, it's the only brake line that we really offer. They yeah. make great stuff. Been partnered with Matias for years. Appreciate your support. Fang. Fang Energy. Cobra Venom drink. It's not an energy drink. It's a recovery drink. Man. Exactly. Right? Uh, Vortex. Tech Spec. Driven. Pitbull. Driven. M4, M4 Exhaust. exhaust. Showy Helmets, Helmet House. RST Moto. RST Moto. Everything. Hot Bodies Racing. I think, See, we, I think we got everybody. I think you got everybody. Now let's get back into it. Let's talk about riding. Did your dad get to ride? No, he did not. Why is that? Uh, because I, I, I get to ride. Because <laughs> you get to ride and I get to work on two bikes and change yep. a whole bunch of tires. Yep. You know, one of the problems with going faster on mm -hmm. a bigger bike, mm -hmm. they just eat tires. Especially yep. at Barber. We're just, we're eating tires. I think yep. we went through... Over four rear tires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Yeah, in two days. In two days. And I didn't get to ride my bike, which is sitting right there, which now you're going to ride my bike. I'm going to ride your bike. Well, you're coaching. You're going to ride the R7 this weekend. Well, I'm coaching. That little tally, and then you'll ride your 600, and maybe we'll do a couple of practice starts on the 750 yep. in advance of Road Atlanta. So, Saturday, he's out riding the 600. He's He's carving some time off had a couple little gremlins with the bike we had to work on me and chris and and cole from team hammer we got those all sorted out right and then we get closer to the afternoon i'm like hey dude how about you go out on the no i want to keep riding the 600 the kid says and i'm like no you're going out on the 750 so for the last two sessions i think on yeah. saturday mm -hmm. put you out on the 750 and you were able to drop some immediate time what did you get down to on, on saturday 31.4 which was your new personal best. Yeah, yeah, not right? too bad. Not a bad way to start. Mm -hmm. We went and got some Bucky's for dinner, maybe a couple of White Claws for me, Cole, and Chris. I had water. Chris set up the big TV. <laughs> you had water. Chris set up the big TV. We watched Supercross. It was pretty cool. Chilling yeah. at the track. It's good to be back. There's no doubt about it. So we're chilling at the track. Had a, had a really nice night. 
and then on to Sunday. Sunday. So Sunday, our battle plan was, and I had a little tire strategy for the kid. Like I said, we're going through some tires. We're working on sorting that out, see if we can get a little bit of life. We're trying to identify what tires we're going to use for the race. I think we nailed that part down. You know, we started off the first session before lunch. He went out on the 600 just to basically warm himself up. I think you 32s again, something yeah. like that. Yeah, just 32s. a quick, quick warm up. Every session after lunch, he went out on the 750. We had a, a goal for the weekend. Yeah which was to do a what? Yeah, 29. Which is to do a 29, and that's, you've never, you've never been below, like, what was it, your um, previous I, best before was 31.7? Something like that, yeah. And Th that was on one of Chris's 750s two years ago mm -hmm. at the Weir GNF, the endurance race. So we're working throughout the day. Um, you got down to, uh, Hayden Bickneese was there on a 750. Yeah, yeah. yeah he passed yeah. you, showed you what's up. He did show me what's yeah, he's, up. He's got maybe a little more time on the bike. You guys have raced together over the last three years. He's fast. very competitive. He's a fast rider. You guys have have raced together quite a bit. Yeah. And you're you'll be very competitive with him. There's no question about it. I think he's got a little more seat time. But he showed you what was up. Yeah, he did. And he helped you get down to a 30.2. 30.27. That's frustrating, isn't it? When you're this close. Uh, it would have been a 29. There's just so much lap traffic. Like even track day, even a yeah even a clear lap. It's not a clear lap. There's always going to be somebody when you go over a hill and your laps yeah. ruined. It, it just happens. But that's it's a track day, man. Yeah, for sure. That's a track day. Yeah. So, I think that was. There were two sessions left mm -hmm. after that. I think we had a we had a red flag. Oh, we're going to talk about a, a funny red flag here in a minute too. Um, that was previous to that. Was that the one right after lunch? I think. I think that was the one right after lunch. Yeah. So right, let's just jump into that. No names will be given here. Not at all. But what happened is, driving out of Charlotte's Web, right, turn five, um, you apply the brakes. Yeah. We're on the bridge. Going whatever, whatever, you know? Yeah. 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 A rider's brakes did not release. He got on his brakes and they stayed applied. Something's wrong with the master cylinder. Locked up. That rider did not fall, but the bike would not move. The rider's off the bike, yeah. waving at everyone. Mm -hmm. Remember, Barber Motorsports Park is 45 feet wide. Everywhere. Every section, every turn, it's 45 feet wide. Yeah. He was occupying, let's estimate it, three feet of width. Three to four, yeah. Okay. That leaves how much? 41 feet. 41 to 42 feet. Did you go past this rider that was standing there waving at you? I sure did. What did you think? I just went on the inside. Okay. What were you looking at? The uh, ahead. You weren't looking at him, were you? No, going down the straightaway, I saw the yellow flags. Of course I looked at him, but after I realized he was standing there, uh, I didn't want to hit him, so I stopped looking at him. It's unfortunate, but two other riders uh, got tangled up and went down. Thank God they didn't hit the rider that was standing there. Yeah. They, they ended up going down on their own. Everybody was okay. Yeah. The moral of that story is, and, and this with the person you're gonna be coaching this week, one, one of the things that is so important, it might be the most single most important thing you do when you're on the racetrack. Where do your fucking eyes go? Ahead, as far as, as, far ahead as they can be. <laughs> Always. Always. And then nothing is a surprise, is it? Not at if all. If there's a guy waving at you in the middle of the racetrack, well, yeah. it's not a fucking surprise because you saw it. Exactly. And then you pick the opening and you just, you then look at the opening and you, and you go get through it. it. Target fixation is a, is a, is a real thing. It, it's so important to keep your eyes up at all times and nothing's a surprise and you can avoid fuck, almost anything, almost right? Almost anything. Okay, done with that. That was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Thank God everybody was okay. Yeah. And the photographer got pictures of it. What are the odds that 129 photos is in the corner, dude? I don't know. Like, there's a picture. Yeah, he's waving. waving. Yeah. Craziest thing. So then let's move on to the afternoon sessions. We had a tire strategy set up where he was going to get a new front second to last session. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we're going to put on a, a new rear for him to go out because the very last session of the day, at pretty much every track day I've ever been to yeah, yeah. in well over 20 years. Uh -huh. Half the people pack up. Yeah, yeah. Half people on Sunday. Home. Half the people pack up on Sunday. They're taking off. I think there was probably only thirty percent of the bikes that were out there in the morning. Yeah. That last session. Yeah, it was probably more like fifteen to twenty instead of uh, instead of forty-five. Hundred <laughs> percent. And you went out. Uh, uh, Rossi was there Rossi testing the, the GSX eight R, and uh, I'm gonna say a whole lot about that. But riding, riding good. Riding really well. You guys were were riding together. And uh, yeah, you got it done, dude. Did a 29.66. 
That's pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. Not, for, for a track day, yeah, that's not, pretty fast. Not fast enough, but it's, it's good. Well, it's, you are correct. It's good enough. It's going to put you in a, that time alone would put you in. This 11th or 12th position on the grid for motor Out of 30 purchase. some bikes. Yeah, no. Nah. Two months until I do a 27. Mark my word. <laughs> I like that. No, I, you should feel that way because it was cool. We're driving home too. And he's got his phone out and he's replaying qualifying from the two yeah. previous years. And I think Tyler was on the screen quite a bit. He was. Well, I was just checking out my shift points to make sure I'm doing everything right. And I was in a few corners and I was in a, in a couple other. Because shift points on the 750 are just so much different on the 400. I'm not used to all that power. You know you know what I mean? I'm always in a high gear on that little bike. And on, on the big bike, you're always in a low gear, for being quite honest. So a big difference. And now that you've had the time to go out and it's your bike, mm -hmm. right? And you've gotten to ride it for a couple of days and then you go rewatch that video and it's the same hardware, literally yeah. the same bike, same gearing, same everything. Because <clears throat> Team Hammer is technology, they're supporting us, technically mm -hmm. helping yeah. us out, which is great. It's great to have that resource. You know, now you can look at what, what you like. I remember hearing you go, oh, that's not the line I'm using, right? No. Oh, look at, okay, oh, no, I'm shifting there too. Okay, okay. You know, so it's great that you can go back on that Moto America Live Plus app yeah. and watch all of this old stuff. Mm -hmm. And for a racer that's competing in that series, that is a tremendous tool. Yeah, for sure. To be able to use. Yeah. yeah. So you're guaranteeing 27s. Guaranteeing the 27. In May. In May. At Barber. At Barber. We're going to put money on it. I don't know how you can put however much money you want. It's got to be realistic. How much do you want to bet me? Uh, I don't know. I'll bet not my whole bank account, but uh. Here's what I'll bet. I will mow the grass twice. This year. This year, <laughs> yeah, literally twice. I haven't mowed it in years, because he does it. I will mow the grass twice and take the trash out once. Yeah. If you do a 27. How about if I do a 27, you, you, you get to mow it once, but you gotta wear a Speedo and a cowboy hat and Tom will be there to record it. Probably not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> do a 26 and I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> do a 26 <laughs> and I'll do that. So there you have it. We're excited to have the season started. We're really excited to get the, you know, it was, it was kind of cool even loading the trailer, but man, we got our shit super organized. Two weeks. So it's, it's amazing right. what you learn over the course of three years, you know, of going pro racing. It's very true. You learn a lot about the bikes and, and just about the entire process, and we've really refined a lot of stuff. It's exciting to be out there at the track again. We're really looking forward to this day with Precision and yeah. all the folks there at Tally. It's going to be great. And then Good little time. Atlanta, baby. And then we're off to Road Atlanta. Let's get some. All right. There you go. Ride number one recapped preseason.